Hi everyone, on this week's episode, I'm going to see if I can melt wax inside of hot resin. So as you guys know, I like doing experiments with resin, and after asking you guys if you wanted a bonus video this week, I saw a comment that really got me thinking. Someone had asked if I could try wax. Now I think this is a great idea, since wax melts at a low temperature and resin cures at a high temperature, so I think there's a really good opportunity for the wax to melt and be trapped in the resin. Now I could just use a candle for this experiment, but I thought I might make it a bit more exciting and use a wax copy of my finger. Before I go dunking my finger in some hot wax, I need to pour myself a little resin base layer so it's got something to sit on. While that's in the pot curing, I can start preparing my wax. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to boil some water in this saucepan and then add this bowl over the top. I'm then going to add in the wax so it can melt. It's the same method you use for melting chocolate. I'll be using this camp stove to boil my water. Now if you decide to use one too, make sure to use it outside or in a well ventilated area. Now my workshop has a big extractor fan that helps pull the air out and I also have a monitor on the wall that lets me know if there's any dangers in the air. So we don't just have boring white wax, I'm also going to add a purple dye chip. Now that we have our wax melted, it's time to prepare another bowl with some iced water. So it's now time to make a copy of my finger, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put it into the ice water for about 20 seconds. Once I've done that, I'll pat it dry and add some moisturising cream. I'll then dunk it in and out of the wax about eight times. And then once that's done, I'll put it back into the ice water and then hopefully we can slip it off and have a copy of my finger. Okay, here goes. Now I don't 
think that's going to be thick enough so I might have to repeat this step a few times. Well, as you can see, I'm not very good at this. It's like I've just made a big mess. Well, I think I need to give this another go. Except this time, I'm gonna be a lot more gentle. I feel like maybe I was too aggressive. I'm also gonna skip putting the moisturizer on, just in case that had something to do with it. It still doesn't look great, but I think it's going to be perfect for what we need it for. Now we just got to see if I can get it off without breaking it. There we go. I did it. Well, I don't think we're going to get this into any Madame Tussauds, but it's definitely good enough for one of my projects. My base layer is now all cured, so it's time to stick down the finger and pour on some more resin. We're going to do things a little different this week. I don't have too much confidence in the way the wax is glued to the resin, so I'm going to put the container inside the pressure pot and then fill it up. What's your predictions for this one? Do you think it's going to melt or not melt? Let me know in the comments.
Well, that looks pretty interesting. Now, before we go talking about it, I need to go watch PotCam. So the reason I wanted to see PotCam is because I couldn't tell what happened with all this wax on the side. But after watching it, I was so happy to see that it melted like a lava lamp. Now, there is one more thing I want to do, and that is take it out of this container and melt all this wax on the side. Because I'm really curious to see what's left behind. Well, that's easier said than done. Looks like there's a lot of moisture in there. There we go. Well, that looks really cool. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see more midweek videos like this, let me know by hitting the like button. And also, as per usual, I'll have my weekly upload this weekend, and it might involve an orange. So you might want to hit the notification bell, because you won't want to miss that one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.